This year, the Miami Science Museum became one of 12 museums worldwide to participate in scenarios, science centers, engagement, and the Rio Summit, a collaboration between the Association of Science Technology Centers, UNESCO, and the Oswaldo Cruz Foundation to engage young people around the world in a discussion about sustainable development. As part of Scenarios, the Miami Science Museum partnered with Maloca Interactive Science Center in Bogota, Colombia. Actualmente, se está desarrollando en conjunto con los jóvenes del Miami Science Museum un video que expone de manera crítica la problemática ambiental sobre el acceso, la responsabilidad y el uso del agua como recurso. Early in the Scenarios project, Students from Miami and Bogota met in a virtual world to discuss the water issues facing them. I've learned about how to help out my community, not only in, in informing them about the dangers of global warming, yet also how to, how to improve their economy and their environment. Students at both sites prepared videos to communicate their local perspectives on climate change and present questions to climate scientists at London's Planet Under Pressure conference in March of 2012. Why are coral reefs important to me? It's because they sustain so much life, from the parrotfish to the angelfish, from the barracuda to the, even the bull shark. One way of slowing down the ocean acidification. El agua es importante para mí ya que somos 70% de agua y sin agua no podemos vivir. ¿Cómo es posible revertir los daños que le hemos causado? During the conference, they participated in a live video conference with Dr. Janos Bogardi of the United Nations University to discuss water sustainability issues. How can I combine my voice with others to express my opinion to make my voice be heard by the government? Later, students in Miami and Bogota met in a series of video conferences to update each other on their projects and progress. Showing all of our creations and what we've done um, to explain how our water pathways work, what we can do about it, and how it's going to affect us. Lake Okeechobee is is a source for a lot of rivers, but Okeechobee itself has a source, the Kissimmee River. So it's like this whole tangled up web of water, basically. Eh, lo que yo estoy explicando es que Florida, como tal, es una es una tierra de agua, prácticamente. For over two decades, the Miami Science Museum has conducted innovative youth development programs in science and technology. Youth in the museum's Digital Wave program have been investigating climate change and its projected impacts on South Florida. Students have used cutting-edge technologies to communicate what they've learned about South Florida's natural environments. They've worked together to design a 3D simulation of Florida's natural water pathways. The students created virtual world projects on the Kissimmee River, Lake Okeechobee, the Florida Everglades, estuaries, mangroves, and urban landscapes. The main idea of the exhibit is the, um, is the water sources that flow in and out of Lake Okeechobee and the eventual result of said water sources. Maloca desde su nacimiento como centro interactivo hace 13 años, cuenta con los clubes de ciencia y tecnología en los que niños y niñas disfrutan de su tiempo libre explorando e investigando desde distintas áreas del conocimiento. Allí nace el club de divulgadores CIT al aire, con el propósito de incentivar el interés y desarrollar competencias para la comunicación pública de la ciencia y la tecnología. Desde este espacio se adelantan actividades de investigación utilizando técnicas audiovisuales y abordando temas como ¿Qué es la comunicación pública de la ciencia? Comunicación gráfica como instrumento de reflexión, diseño y producción de estrategias de comunicación. Pienso que lo más importante para mitigar el problema es la educación ambiental, el fortalecimiento de las leyes y el cumplimiento de las mismas. The environments of Miami and Bogotá are very different. Miami is on the Atlantic coast and Bogotá is over 2,600 meters above sea level. Miami residents get their water from aquifers, which are threatened by a sea level rise and saltwater intrusion. Bogotá gets its water from glaciers and mountains, which are threatened by increasing temperatures and changing precipitation patterns. The nine-month dialogue among youth resulted in the publication of this multimedia site with resources and information on water sustainability. The site resonates with the voices of youth from both locations. 
como ciudadanos, ¿cómo podemos hacer valer nuestros derechos ambientales? Let the people know that, you know, other people know that there are really people who care about the environment and that we really want to do something about it. Miami and Bogotá. Many environments, the same vital resource. Water. Bye. 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 Bye.